Coming up, I will discuss how to adopt a proactive approach to stress management. Let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Matthew Royce. I am a knowledge enthusiast. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity, said Albert Einstein, a theoretical physicist. Stress, it's a normal part of living. For some of us, we'd rather eliminate it altogether. However, stressors in our life can make us stronger, look at the world differently, and provide us with growth opportunities. Challenging situations foster personal development and positive outcome. There's an opportunity for learning resilience and personal growth. Stress will help us shift our perspective towards self-improvement and advancement. Stress is an inevitable part of life, and there are positive transformation opportunities that come from it. Every day brings a choice to practice stress or to practice peace, said Joan Borisenko, an author. Stress is not an external force imposed upon us, but it's a response we can choose to engage in or alleviate. When you adopt a proactive approach to stress management and cultivate well-being in your life, you actively choose to respond to stress with the right state of mind. Here are seven common stressors that many people experience in their lives and how to take the right mindset towards them. Number one, work-related stress. Work-related stress is about the physical, emotional, and mental strain of job demands and the work environment. For example, working long hours, job pressure, a demanding workload, or fear of job loss are stressors. Work-related stress impacts your health, job satisfaction, productivity, and overall well-being. So how do you manage this type of stress? To manage your work-related stress, be aware of the signs and symptoms such as irritability, fatigue, difficulty focusing, and sleep pattern changes. Reflect on what aspects of work are causing stress, such as excessive workload, poor work-life balance, and challenging relationships. Understanding the root causes of stress will help you better manage it. Establish clear boundaries between work and personal time to relax and recharge. Make self-care a priority. Exercise regularly, eat a balanced diet, sleep well, spend time with loved ones, and pursue hobbies. Number two, financial difficulties. Financial obligations and decisions involving money can cause stress. For example, you could experience financial difficulties such as struggling with debt, unemployment, or financial instability. You may also feel trapped in your job and feel like you need to continue to rise the corporate ladder to keep up with financial obligations. So how do you manage this type of stress? Evaluate your income, expenses, debts, and savings. Create a detailed budget to determine your financial inflows and outflows so you can find potential opportunities for savings. Determine what expenses are essential and non-essential. Look for areas where you can cut back on non-essential expenses, such as entertainment or dining out. Explore opportunities to increase your income, such as taking on a part-time job, freelancing, or starting a side hustle. If you have debt, focus on reducing that first, especially debt with higher interest. Look for ways to save money in your daily life by seeking out discount codes, using coupons, comparing prices before making purchases, and buying secondhand or opting for less expensive alternatives. Number three, relationship problems. Relationship issues refer to conflicts, challenges, or difficulties in interpersonal relationships. For example, separation, divorce, and breakups. They can cause stress because many people experience shock, feeling powerless, betrayal, confusion, and heartbreak. So how do you manage this type of stress? Managing relationship issues require effort, commitment, and effective communication. Foster open and honest communication. Clearly express your thoughts, feelings, and concerns. Seek to understand the other person's point of view, empathize, and see the situation from their perspective. Identify the core issues that are causing the problems. Find common ground and compromise to find mutual satisfactory solutions where both parties feel heard and their needs are considered. Take responsibility for your actions and be willing to apologize. Make amends and change your behavior if necessary. Number four, health issues. Health issues are a wide range of conditions that impact your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. For example, they could be a major illness, physical pain, chronic illness, or caring for a sick family member. They can impact you in many challenging ways and give you uncertainty about the future. So how do you manage this type of stress? Managing health problems involves a comprehensive approach that varies depending on the specific condition and individual circumstances. First, seek professional medical advice by consulting with healthcare professionals, such as doctors and specialists. They can provide an accurate diagnosis, a treatment plan, and guidance. 
Educate yourself about the health issues to understand symptoms, causes, treatment options, and lifestyle changes. Maintain a healthy lifestyle, such as engaging in regular physical activity, eating a balanced diet, and getting enough sleep. Number five, major life changes. Major life changes are significant events or transitions that can profoundly impact a person's life. For example, they may include moving, buying or selling a home, getting married, having a child, retiring, and adjusting to a new or lost job. Major life challenges can lead to a shift in your perspective, circumstances, and role. They can occur in different areas of your personal and professional life. So how do you manage this type of stress? Managing significant life changes requires adaptability, resilience, and flexibility. Acknowledge your wide range of emotions and accept that change is a natural part of life. Seek help from your support network, such as your family, friends, and colleagues who can offer guidance and encouragement during the transition. Set realistic expectations for yourself and realize these events present opportunities for personal growth, self-discovery, and new beginnings. Number six, family responsibilities. Family responsibilities are tasks, roles, and obligations within the family unit. For example, it could be raising and nurturing children, taking care of household tasks and chores such as cleaning, cooking, grocery shopping, and home maintenance, providing financial support such as earning income, budgeting, and paying bills, and providing care and assistance to aging family members. So how do you manage this type of stress? Managing family responsibilities can be challenging, requiring good communication, prioritization, and planning. Create a schedule or to-do list to help you stay organized and ensure vital tasks are addressed first. Delegate and share responsibilities with other family members to distribute the workload. Encourage open and honest communication within the family to ensure everyone feels valued and heard. Predictable schedules and designated time for specific tasks will create structure and make it easy to manage responsibilities. Number seven, loss and grief. Loss and grief are interconnected when someone experiences a significant change or separation from someone or something they value. Loss is about the actual event or occurrence that results in the absence of someone or something meaningful in a person's life. In contrast, grief is the emotional and physical response to that loss. Loss can take many forms such as the death of a loved one, a romantic relationship ending, the loss of a pet, or job, the loss of physical abilities, and the loss of a treasured possession. Grief is the natural response to loss, and common emotion reactions include anger, sadness, confusion, guilt, disbelief, and a sense of emptiness. Grief is a complicated process that is different for everyone. So how do you manage this type of stress? Managing loss and grief can be challenging. Allow yourself to grieve and recognize it's a natural and necessary response to loss. Give yourself the time to feel your emotions. Honor them and don't suppress them. Seek support from family, friends, and support groups who can provide a safe space to express your feelings and thoughts. Be patient with yourself because grief takes time and don't put pressure on yourself to move on and get over it. Okay, let's bring it all together. First, if you like what you saw here, please hit the subscribe button below. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall, said Nelson Mandela, president of South Africa. There are seven stressors in our lives that impact us the most. Work-related stress, financial difficulties, relationship problems, health issues, major life changes, family responsibilities, and loss and grief. You can have the power to cultivate a calm state of mind amidst challenging situations and not succumb to stress. Stress management is a practice that requires a conscious effort and self-awareness of developing healthy coping mechanisms, such as mindfulness, self-care, and positive thinking. Thank you for watching. Until next time.